Yeah, that's my name. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, I will quickly introduce myself. That's that's me. Uh, or it's a, it's a game I made, but basically that's me. Um, and I, I also made some other games. I, I'm a, a game designer, and I, I also do other things, but mainly games. But now I don't want to talk about games. I want to talk about this. So what's this? Do you know what, what this is? Any ideas? Sheep, no, no, it's not a sheep. <laughs> no, uh, another suggestion? Mm. No, no. <laughs> Sorry? No, no. You don't get it. It's, it's an idea. This is a... Uh, animal idea. It's, uh, it's an animal. Uh, there are different uh, animal types of ideas. It's a, 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 a versatile uh, species. It's, they always uh, look very different and some are very fast and some are slow. Some are provocative. Um, and they like to play with each other. Some of them live alone, some live in herds. Uh, some live in uh, deserts and uh, mountains, some can swim. And uh, there are even some in space and other planets, or uh, they're, they're spread all over the universe, the galaxy. So, who is this? Yeah, that's close, but. <laughs> I would, yeah, farmer. That, that's the, the idea, farmer. Um, and I will now tell you how to uh, be an idea farmer. So first of all, you need a bit of space and some time. And if you want to find ideas, so y your plan is to, to uh, find ideas and uh, grow them. So you just, first you have to find some ideas to take them home. So maybe uh, I suggest to just uh, walk around with open eyes and uh, then maybe you will find one. Of course, you have to catch it. Some are very easy to catch. And some are a bit, uh, need a bit more effort to catch. And this is why I invented a, a great method of uh, catching ideas. It's, uh, you can build a trap. Uh, the trap is, is very easy to build. It's uh, just this uh, circle, this is a, a problem. You take a problem, if you don't have a problem, you, you can create one. It's easy to find some and just put the uh, problem on the floor and then wait until the, the ideas come because they will be attracted by the problems. So uh, you caught an idea. That's your idea. It's a nice one. It's uh, strong and healthy. The, you're a farmer, so you need to feed the idea. So I don't know what, what uh, this idea likes to eat, but uh, maybe if you give the idea some other types of food, uh, the idea will change. And uh, after eating, most of the ideas are very tired, so it's the best to leave them alone for some time. They need a lot of sleep, especially when they're young. If they uh, get a bit older, they uh, should meet other ideas and talk to them and socialize. And uh, maybe you can go do a walk with ideas and show them the world, uh, some new food, or go to dangerous places is always a good thing to do. And if they get even older, they... Uh, can also uh, have fun, and so they will evolve, so that the kids of the ideas will uh, change. And some of the ideas always uh, also like to fight, so they get stronger, because the goal is to get the strong, a very strong idea. Um, so 
you're the farmer and you, you found a very strong idea, you, you have it for some years, and what to do next? Uh, I don't know, there are different possibilities, uh, but you're, until now you're always uh, on your planet. So I suggest to build a rocket and maybe take it outside of your galaxy and meet other uh, idea formers. So, but there are some problems. Uh, if you have an idea that is too big, maybe it's not possible to put it into the rocket. So maybe uh, there's, there are several possibilities to uh, solve this problem. You can split it or maybe take just the head of the idea or maybe it's just too big and you have to leave it home. Okay, you uh, arrived at the other planet of the other idea farmer. Do you share your idea? And it's very important to let him play with the idea because uh, we're playing, it, it also gets stronger and you have to let the other one uh, study and uh, give you feedback about your idea because uh, this helps you to uh, make it more healthy. So at the evening, uh, you go home to your galaxy, take it back and sleep, uh, let it sleep, feed it. And that's, that's what you have to do all over again, again and again. And at the end, you have a, a very strong idea, which is uh, maybe uh, so strong so it can survive space travel and everything. So. Uh, I heard the story of a, a, a farmer w uh, who had an idea which was very, very strong and uh, he uh, traveled through space many times and he uh, wanted to make a game. So th there was a problem, he wasn't able to create games. He was no programmer, he, he had no clue how to make games. So uh, he met this friend uh, it's the game creator. He lives on a square planet. It's, uh, it's a very uh, technical world he lives in, and it takes a long time to go there. But uh, our idea farmer, he put his uh, great idea to the other one. He gave it to him, and then uh, they started working on a game. But there was another problem, because uh, the idea farmer had a very uh, interesting idea, but it didn't fit to the world of the game creator. Um, so the game creator had to improve the idea to be usable in a game. Uh, he, um, he, yeah. And he had so to fix many things of the idea to make it work in his world. And this uh, process took a very, very long time, about 10 years. Um, and the idea farmer always went home in the evening to his planet and uh, let, let the idea sleep. And, but at the end, unfortunately, uh, the idea died. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's the real end of the story because uh, I didn't know them, but uh, it was told it was like this. And I'm not sure if they tried it again, but uh, I think they did. And they made a great, great game. And that's the end. So w why, why did uh, did I tell you this? Uh, I don't know if you are, uh, make games yourselves, but I think this is exactly what I... Uh, when I make a game, I often fail. But uh, yeah, that's the biggest part of the process. So that's it. Thank you.
So do, do you have any suggestions how the story would end uh, in a real game production? They eat the end. <laughs> they eat? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you need to stay at the game planner. Sorry? Maybe you need to stay at the game planner and don't go home every night and live there. No, I think it would be better to, to live on the game planet but be an idea farmer. Yeah, m maybe they have to take the idea to another planet with where the idea works, maybe. But if the, if the idea doesn't work on the game planet, maybe it was not a game idea. That's another thing, yeah. Maybe it was, was a great idea, but not, uh, not a game idea. Or maybe the game planet is a very, very limited <laughs> capability. M maybe... Uh, you you have to go to another game planet which is 3D. <laughs> Maybe the programmers need more creativity. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any more coding resources, so if you want to like add your uh, work on the Python or even the Ruby. Uh, what ideas? No, if I had one, it w uh, would be not strong enough to share it now. <laughs> so what was it? Uh, I think this was yours, right? Yeah. Um, this one. Um, uh, w what it is about, or wha what? So, basically, that's me, and uh, in the game, you can do nothing except eating popcorn. <laughs> and so uh, that's actually me. That's my my eyes and my feet. So, uh, when I created this game, I was. Uh, I was not sure where I want to go, but I was sure uh, I need to eat. What was the question? What was really the question? It was just a feeling that uh, because of what you say about your game is not the whole story, it's because you're actually you're talk you're talking about failure in in dealing with ideas. Mm -hmm. But actually, I think this game tells a quite different story. Not the, not the story of failure, but actually the story of success. Of yeah, I think th there are some ideas which are very strong on one part, but on the other. Uh, side they're re really weak so maybe this uh, uh, maybe the visuals were strong enough to to be successful but maybe the other and not so uh, i don't know if it's so you, you like yeah. it, this game was it mainly based on visual or gameplay it's it was visual it was uh, the goal was to create a creature which was uh, which was alive and so, and the rest, uh, I wasn't really in interested in, in creating a big story or a big game mechanics. Uh, I was really interested in focusing on the, the, the life of this thing. And, yeah. 